Hi, my name is Christina Van Holzer. I'm a professional photographer and for the next four minutes I'm going to show you how to take pictures of seafood. I'm here on behalf of From Ports to Plates. This project is designed to promote Welsh seafood. We're so lucky to be surrounded by sea, which produces seafood of the highest quality to us. In this workshop, we'll be looking at styling. Food styling is an art in itself. It's something a lot of people do for a living, so don't expect to become an expert overnight because it's something that's really difficult to do. What I'm going to show you are just some really simple styling tips that you can revisit using all the props that you've got at home. And just to let you in on a little secret, if you've nailed it with the lighting already, then you're halfway there. Your starting point will be your backdrop. Now I had a white table, but I thought maybe that was a little bit too bright, so I just put a, a bed sheet on it, uh, which is a nice dark green colour, which I think will um, exaggerate the colours. Uh, then use the chopping board. You can use anything. You can use uh, dishcloths or, or just an old piece of wood or something like that would be fine as a backdrop. Then you need to start thinking about the colours that you've got. Do the colours complement each other? You don't want anything too wacky, too bright sitting next to each other, so really think about what you're putting down together. And lastly, your props. These are all props that I've got at home. Um, they're my go-to props that I always use for my food photography, so it's always really good just to have that batch of props that you know sit well together and will go with almost any sort of seafood. Think of textures when you're creating your scene, so tea towels, uh, the textures of the wood, the textures of the food, they're all things that we need to think of. The key to good food styling is less is more. Never overprop anything and always start simple and build up from there. The first thing I do is I always make sure that everything is fresh and I choose my main props. I have my hero product, which is the fish. This is the product I want everyone to look at, so I'm making this my point of focus. It's really easy to overthink food styling, and I always try to start nice and simple, but always try to get movement in my food, as if this would be a natural scene. So I've got my salt ramekin here, I am going to maybe just sprinkle some salt just to make it look nice and natural. Then I've got my tea towel. This has got nice patterns on it so I like the texture on it because it sits well with the texture on the fish and the texture on the chopping board. Sometimes it's nice just to throw it on and see what happens. Um, you have to remember that not all of the scene is going to be in the picture, so if you just want to style one part of the picture, then that is fine. Um, I've got my garlic, my just cut this up a bit, so if you have got a whole lemon or a whole garlic, there's nothing wrong with just cutting it and giving it some texture and just make the picture look like it's alive. And also food styling is just, it's a case of just playing around with things until you feel like it looks good. So we're looking for movement in the textures, we're looking for really nice points of focus. Uh, I love the colour in this parsley and what I always do is I look for the best bits of parsley. Always look for those really nice fresh looking products. And then sometimes you can you can just sprinkle as well, which is always nice and natural. And when I'm styling as well, I always try and look at the the product as if I was looking down with the camera. So with this one, I'm going to shoot from up top. So I am looking to shoot down. So this is why I'm kind of looking over it. And another top tip is try and keep your food nice and wet if you want it to look fresh. So I've just got a bit of water here. I'm just going to sprinkle the water on the fish. I'm setting a scene, I'm, I'm trying to make the picture come alive. We'll shoot it and then we'll see what it looks like. I've got the salt on the fish, um, I've got my parsley just sprinkled around. 
my garlic sat here and then my tea towel with the knife. I'm kind of trying to create a really natural feel to this. Um, and then I've not kind of not been too careful with the salt. I'm going to leave this tray of ice here as well because I think it looks really nice and I'm going to have that peeking into the frame because you need to remember that not everything of the fish is going to be in the frame. I'm just concentrating on this top half here. So just to finish, if you're going to give food styling a try, it is tough. Always think simple. Start with your hero product, use the props that you've got at home, try and create a scene, a busy kitchen, something nice and natural. And a top tip for you, I always jump on the internet to try and get some inspiration for my starting points. Thanks for watching and I really hope you've learned something about taking pictures of seafood. If you want to know more about seafood or want the odd recipe, then head over to Porter Plate social media. They are on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter under at Porter Plate. Thanks for watching.